Got a new, got a new camera. Konnichiwa everyone, Chris captures this and I'm back on the channel finally. It has been a solid, what, like two months since I made a video on the channel, but I am back. If you haven't been up to date on my socials or seen the community post, I have been very busy. I got married. Bling bling, posters on screen. Wow. And then I went on my honeymoon for three weeks and I went to Japan, Singapore and Bali, had the time of a lifetime, but I am back and I'm here to make some content for you guys. And I thought, what better way to start than show you all the stuff that I got from the travels, especially the stuff from Nippon Desk. And there's a big solid bag full of it. And now it's all over the floor as well, but let's jump straight into it. No messing about. If you could leave a like if you like this video and tell me what your favourite thing that I got from my travels were. And hopefully we can rapid fire through this because there is so much stuff to go through. It has kind of got mixed up a little bit, so I'm going to try and keep it themed. So let's start with a little Fuey Cocoa plush. I got this from a crane machine. I think we ended up getting this guy pretty cheap, especially for how much they were trying to charge in the stores nearby. So yeah, we got this guy in a crane game machine. And honestly, if I had more room on my case, the addiction would have set in because I was loving the crane games. I was doing really well at them. I just realized you probably just saw the next things. <laughs> but yeah, we got him. The little fire boy. He was my favorite starter from the new lot. Sprigatito was also very cute and the Sprigatito merch was probably better, but Fue Coco is my boy. Yeah, I went to a couple Pokemon Center as well as there, but I managed to find the one inside of Tokyo Station. So while I was there, I got this super cute, lying down, very cuddly Eevee. I got this for my wife, Charlotte, because she thought it was very cute. So, And then I also got the exclusive Pikachu Tokyo Station Conductor. And look how cute this guy is. He's wearing his little uniform. I've got another one who's wearing like a graduation uniform that I got given when I graduated. So I just thought this guy was a cute little bonk bonk bonk. It was nice that it was exclusive just to that one store as well. So I thought I may as well pick it up while I was there. While we're at it, let's talk about a couple Pokemon card packs that I got. So I went to three Pokemon centers in total. Uh, Pokemon cards are really in short supply in Japan at the moment. These were a couple little packs that I picked up from the Pokemon centers. These were the first two that I got, which I've already opened. So I don't think I got anything crazy in them. No, I can't even tell what the rare was. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's just open these. Let's just open these right now. So these are the new Scarlet and Violet base sets, I believe. There's been a couple of expansions. How many idiots does it take to get into a pack of Pokemon cards? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. We got Magikarp, uh, Bisharp, uh, Lechonk. I don't know why I forgot. Uh, I fucking love Lechonk. He's a chunky boy. Whoa! We got the new new crab thing with the, old, the, the alternate artwork. It says AR. I don't know. It's one of the cool artworks that people are chasing after the fancy new artworks. And then we just got a stadium at the end. Yo! We got a cool, cool artwork. Pack number two. It's too hot to be struggling with this. It's too hot to be wearing a hat, but my hair's gone so fluffy in the heat. And I got really sunburnt yesterday at a wedding. Fido. A go, go. Crocodile, something. Uh, yeah, that. Whoa, whoa! All the shit. Did we just get two baller packs? We got them together from the same box as well. The guy just randomly picked packs. Look at that, with Gardevoir on it. It's got texture to it as well. Yo! Put it on the screen now, what's this is worth? <laughs> Let's go! While we were in Singapore, we decided to go into an arcade one night and play a ticket game, and we played a, like, Food Wars game, but once you kind of got a jackpot, it put that many things through the machine that it kind of just started playing itself. So I'll put some footage on screen of that. And from the rewards, we managed to get a couple things. I don't know where the other one is, but with the leftover tickets, I managed to get a pack of One Piece uh, trading card game. This is from the third drop. I can't remember what the third drop was called in English, but let's see what we get in this one. See if our luck continues. See if we get some like crazy card in here. We got this guy. We got that guy with Fire Fist. We got the this guy. Well, I could actually try and read some of them uh, with my basic Japanese. Nope, um, nope, nope, not even going to try. <gasps> Something different color there. Oh, it's just an event card, okay? And then we got, uh, oh, from Clahador's uh, Black Cat Pirates. Can't remember the name, though. It's one of the brothers. One of the brothers? Yo! We got 
little ball of packs. Let's go. Um, I don't know who it is, but <laughs> I, w I was red before. Now I'm a little bit more red. Japanese packs stacked. Okay. Whoa, whoa. One piece of card game. I got a full deck. I made the mistake thinking that the one that I picked up was the same as the one in front of it, which was the One Piece Red movie one. This one is not. I picked up a different deck. Uh, this is the Wano arc deck. Uh, I can't remember what this character's name called, but there was a cool statue in the crane game that I wanted to buy, but too big, too heavy. Really want to get into the One Piece trading card game. Uh, I don't know anybody else that does, so <laughs> uh, i Play it by myself. It's so warm in the UK right now. Keep it rolling. Family Mart socks. If you don't know, Family Mart, the conveniently chain, sell their own branded socks. They actually have quite a few, but they were super handy. I didn't realize they came in individual packs, so I ended up buying lots of packs and they were always sold out. So I think I went to about 15 different conveniences in the end to try and get enough socks. They're, they're actually super comfy. What should we go to next? The Nintendo store? Do you want to see the Nintendo store? Pikmin! They had Pikmin plushies. So we got this one because uh, my wife likes to pull this face. We also got the pink one, which I'll put on screen now for her sister because weirdly it looks like her sister. I love Pikmin. It's one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. It's incredibly underrated. We got Pikmin and I got myself a Pikmin t-shirt. Yoink. Yoink. There you go, it's got Pikmin trying to carry your pocket away, and it's cute, and you got some sprouting on the arm, just chilling, he's, he's chilling, he's a chill boy. I bought loads of clothes while I was over there, I got loads of the new Dragon Ball collection from Uniqlo, uh, yeah, we went to Asakusa, I believe it was called, the oldest shrine in Tokyo, it was, we got a Daruma doll from there, what you do is, you draw an eye on, and you make a wish, or set yourself a goal, and he will bring you good luck and he will watch over you while you achieve your goal and when you do you color in the other eye i think that's really cute i've got one on my shelf you saw it on my tiktok and stuff if you've seen it where's he gone so i got a little version which i've set myself a little goal my friend brought me back this last time we went to japan to keep me striving for my goals and we have this one as a family so we can set a big nice family goal for this which i think i already know what it's going to be okay Shonen Jump Store. I didn't actually get too much from the Shonen Jump Store because it was a lot of like trinkety bits and stuff like that. But what I did get was this blind bag. It's actually a phone charm, but it's very big. It's a Jujutsu Kaisen phone charm thing. So it's not on my phone, but I might put it on my keys. And I managed to get Painda. Big, big Painda. Okay, there's a few things in here. This is one of the Pokemon gacha boxes to make a nice little gardenscape. So I think we got one of these and then we got some of there's another slightly different version where you make like little scenes so we managed to get one of Chespin and Fletchling with a little, nice little apple tree so I'll set these up and put some b-roll in as well and we got uh, a sleepy little squirtle who sleeps in a little pond so we're good and the one that we got from this set was the Pikachu and the Cherim Pikachu and Charm. It was super cute. We'll make our desks look nice and cute. Okay, some more nerdy stuff. I did a lot load of gotcha machines. Uh, from one of them, I got the older I get, the worse I'm getting with names. I got Kugisaki, and she like holds on to like a little shelf or the edge of a glass or something like that. Can we see if she wants to hold on to the side of some manga. Ah. Ah. There she is. Hold or something because. She is not correctly balanced to grab hold of anything. She's rolled away somewhere, it doesn't matter. She, she's gone, she's dead to me. Where did the other gotchas go? I actually got three of these, but I'm giving... Oh, these two are the same. So one of these is going to a friend. I got some One Piece Devil Fruit. Oh, it's not Devil Fruit, it's got straw hats inside. The thing looks like a Devil Fruit. The first ever gotcha that I got is up here. I got this in Trafford Centre. Ow! Everything is out to kill me today. So, it comes in the shape of a little devil fruit, you can put the stem on and display. But I got... Brook! I got Brook! So, I didn't have room for all the gotcha balls, so I left one behind. I got Nami as well. Uh, I need a Zoro. I still need a Zoro figure of some kind, or some sort of Zoro merch. 
ASAP. Somebody send me some Zorro merch. We were trying for ages to get a hedgehog in this set. <laughs> and we couldn't, but we did get a little tiny bird wearing a baseball cap on a skateboard. And we also got a dog and we got a rabbit as well. There's the dog. Skateboard. Doge. Excellent. We love him. Pop shove it. <laughs> Okay, we got a amulet. We got this from Meiji Shrine, which is the biggest, I believe, shrine in Tokyo. It's for the Emperor Meiji and his wife. When they passed away, they made the shrine for them inside of a beautiful woodland forest area in the middle of Tokyo. You're in the biggest city on the planet, and there's just this huge forest with the shrine inside of it. So this is a little good luck amulet that we got for ourselves. So we need to hang this up in the house, and hopefully it brings some good luck to us. I should have done that before I started getting killed by plastic. Okay, I probably won't show you all the little knickknacks because you probably don't care about a lot of them, but we did get this giant merlion from Singapore Bay. This is a fountain at Singapore Bay. It's a mixture of a, a fish and a lion. So it's a merlion. It looks great. If you've seen Cowboy Bebop, uh, you will have seen Faye Valentine go and visit this because I believe... Her house was somewhere near there, if I remember correctly. The episode where she is trying to get back her memories when they find the videotape of her as a kid. Okay, we got we got loads of amulets while we were over there. Every shrine that we went to, we tried to pick something up from, and there was loads of really cute ones. So we got this one. This one's actually on a sucker to put into your car. This is to bring safe driving, which uh, I think I need lately. <laughs> I've suddenly become a terrible driver. Okay, I got a tub full of gotchas that we got here. This is Nijo Castle in Kyoto. This is like the, the main building of the castle. This is like one of the outer towers. This building was no longer there. I don't know if that's burnt down or what, but that building the structure was no longer there. You got the front gates and then you've got, uh, this is a recreation of the Shogun meeting where they re-established an emperor and the Shogun warring clans gave up power across all of Japan. It was fascinating walking around and seeing the statues inside the halls and the recreations of the halls because they've taken a lot of the artwork down to preserve it because the sunlight will obviously kill it and stuff like that so they've recreated large parts of it but it was beautiful to see. So that was a nice little day out. So yeah, we've got a nice little Nijo castle to remember it by. This guy, the seven tenths guy from Jujutsu Kaisen. Absolutely baller character. Get ready for the Shibuya incident arc. Oy. We got this from Meiji Shrine as well. So there's a cute little wood block talisman thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this was. It was just in the gift shop and we really liked it. So we're gonna be hang it up in the kitchen probably. Got a bell. Got some nice artwork of part of the shrine up there. You guys are probably saying, Chris, shut the fuck up and get to the cool nerdy stuff. So that's what we're gonna do now. I got some mystery mini nano sets. So they're basically like branded versions of Lego, really tiny Lego things. I've already made an Umbreon from this set and I managed to get two Spy Family Volume 2 mystery grab bags. I'm guessing Volume 1 had Yor and Lloyd and stuff in. This has got Anya, Damien and Becky and then it's also got Bond, the dog. So I want Anya and Bond, really. Then you've got the Chimera and you've got uh, the penguin. And then, oh, that's the actual size. Wow, they are small, these ones. Those ones are really small. So yeah, I got two of those. I was gonna give one as a gift, but I think I'm keeping one. I'm uh, keeping them both now. So hopefully we get ones that we actually want. While I was in the Kyoto Pokemon Center, I managed to find two mystery grab bags. There's a water type grab bag. And I got an electric one with Pikachu, Alolan Raichu. So really we want the Pikachu line out of that one. Or Fluffy, because I do love Fluffy. So stick around. These will probably be shorts on the channel. Okay, another gotcha, another One Piece gotcha, and in this I got a character that I haven't met yet, but I recognise from things. Purple hair, big scarf, he's got cowboy boots on. Uh, let me know who this guy is, without spoilers please. Give me his name and whether he's a cool guy or not cool guy. He seems like he'd be cool guy, pinky purple hair. Okay, let's do some fun stuff. I got this character whose name I've forgotten from Demon Slayer. I'm really bad with names. Y'all don't get the worst I'm getting with names. She is one of the spirits from when Tanjiro does his first lot of training with 
Urukodaki. She is the other one who's with Sabuto. I remember Sabuto's name because I got a t-shirt with them on. I can't remember this girl's name. She's wearing the fox mask. So she went in for a Demon Slayer trial and died to the demon in the Wisteria Forest. I got this from a crane game. Funny story. I spent as much as I was willing to spend on this and the crane would not fall and every time i asked the guy for help swim in my sand swim in my sand he came, comes over he's like oh you just need to drop that so i do that and he's like huh he's like okay so he takes it out and he moves it about he puts it on the edge of the machine and it's one of the ones where you need to move the snakes up and down to push the platform over and he's like okay drop this one so i drop it and the platform moves and this still doesn't fall off and he's like oh huh? and he full on hit me with a oh huh? he couldn't believe what he was looking at so he readjusted it again he was like okay move this one so i did and and it still wasn't falling and when we looked there was actually nothing touching the platform the platform just had like enough traction on the box that the box wouldn't come off the lip even though he put it so that if you sneezed on it it would have fallen off so yeah i had i wasn't willing to put any more money in and then these two guys from Hong Kong were watching me play and they were like, oh, tell us how to play and we'll have a go. So they played it for a little bit. They probably put like an extra thousand yen into it and we kept doing what the guy said and it still wasn't falling. And in the end, the guy just, when we took another go, just knocked it off the shelf. And the two guys uh, were really nice to give it to me because they were like, you've probably spent more on this than we have. So you take the prize. So thank you very much, friends from Hong Kong. Um, I follow them on Instagram now. Lovely guys. Um, that's the story behind that one. Shonen Jump! This was the volume that was out when I got to Tokyo. But this was the cooler cover, this is Sakamoto Days. Uh, I don't know who this character is, but he looks like a badass on his bike. There was actually a billboard of this guy up at one point with this cover on, so I think this might be a cover of a volume that's coming out at some point as well. What actual copy of Shonen Jump from Japan? Jump Weekly, this is cool, it's got Jujutsu Kaisen in there. This is volume 26 from 2023. <laughs> I got a copy of Showing the Jump from Japan. The volume while I was there. Some beautiful landscapes there. Um, oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> this is a gift for someone. This is a uh, this is a, a One Piece volume. The first crane game that I went on and I won this for probably about. I think I won it for 800 yen, so that's probably around four pounds at the moment. I got Makima from Chainsaw Man, so guess who's going on the Tatsuki Fujimoto shelf? <laughs> they actually had all the main cast, except for Denji. They didn't have a Denji one out at the time, but I, I knew that I didn't have room in my case for all of them because the boxes are so chunky. So I got Makima because I wanted Makima first. Um, I will try and get Aki and Power and Denji another time, but yeah, we got this in the crane game first time on the crane game smashed it straight out of the park ish crane game master okay i'm gonna go through some stuff that i got as gifts for people hopefully this comes out after i've given them as gifts so it's not spoilers for anyone um i got a cute little chikorita plush for my friend Naila, who helped us um book the honeymoon go follow her socials that will be on screen and linked in the description below she is a travel writer who largely focuses on japan so you best believe you better check them out. Chikorita's her favourite Pokemon, so bon appetit. Bon appetit like she's going to eat it. We've got a Family Mart headband as well. There's loads of Family Mart socks in here. I'm not going to talk about them. We've got Blue Exorcist Volume 1. My friend said that he was really loving it, Blue Exorcist, so I told him to read the manga. But this is actually in English. I got this in Singapore from a huge bookstore. It was like the size of a UK IKEA, and the manga section was huge. Kino Kunia is the store. I believe they have some in New York and stuff as well. So I managed to find one of them in Singapore to pick this up in England. Oh, I went to B-Side Labels and got some stickers. So there's a Tengen sticker from one of my friends. And also he's a huge Black Clover fan. So I got the only one that I could find with Aster and the other guy on the front cover. So this is volume 33. Got him a copy of Black Clover because he's a huge, huge Black Clover fan. This is the mystery box that I found. I will get my friend to send me a photo of whatever he pulls from it these are just nice little cute sitting versions of the heroes from my hero academia some of the students and then i also managed to pick up the latest volume of my hero academia when i was out there this one is 
volume 38 so we're just got i believe 33 is the one that's just come out in the uk so we are like five volumes behind this is says seventh season is coming the advertisements on there for the newest volumes of team up and also you get a special little art postcard so i'm gonna give my friend the deku one because i know he likes them the other one that i got had toga on it so i got that volume i'm gonna keep all of that nintendo saw legend of zelda keychain uh, and that's all we really need to go over for the gifts who wants to see the mountains of manga that I bought? This guy does. So I was searching for a while to find like a store that did new manga. I kept finding loads of secondhand manga stores. And then I finally found a couple, but one of them was like super, super cheap. And I wanted the two volumes that I knew I wanted when I went was a Japanese copy of One Piece Volume 1 and Volume 100. Two landmark issues for a series. I had to get them. So I managed to find them. And like I said, they were super cheap. So I managed to get volume one, but then not only did I get 100, I managed to get 99, 100 and 101 with the connecting covers. There we go. These are going pride of place on the shelf. How it started, how it's going. I've also got another volume of One Piece in here somewhere. I will find that in a minute. And then this is my copy of My Hero Academia with the Toga postcard. Uh, I think these came as out at like £3 a volume from the department store I was in, which was mind-blowing to me when I finally went to the till. Crazy. Oh, I've made a mess. I went to Mandarake. It's a second-hand uh, everything store. It's not just a bookstore. But I got myself some bits there as well. I got Steel Ball Run Volume 7. This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7. That artwork is incredible. It's one of my favourite pieces of JoJo's artwork. So I had to pick up this one. I had to get at least something JoJo's. I had a load in my hand and I was like, no, this was before I decided to pay for extra baggage. So I, I thought, no, I'd be good. So I just got this one. Then I also got this Haiku volume. I actually haven't run Google Translate on it yet to figure out what it is, but it looks like it's some sort of special edition volume because it doesn't have, doesn't have a volume number. I think it might be like an art book or some sort of bonus item. But let's just get into it because I'm going to open it anyway because it's secondhand. It's from Mandarake. So yeah, this is like a character profile book. So it's the stats and the names and the schools for all the characters that we see for all the different volleyball teams. So here we have the crossing and high guys. These guys get a bit more of a write up. Best moments in there, some stats, some retellings of some stuff. Ooh, there's something mystery inside of here. Got a card from a Haiku card game in there. Bruh, so it's like two pound. Second hand with like brand new condition. Okay, I got a clear stand, uh, quintessential quintuplets. There was loads of quintessential quintuplets stuff around at the moment. They're doing a collaboration with Sam Rio as well, where like you could get all the girls hugging like a Hello Kitty or a cinnamon roll and stuff like that. Um, I actually got this from a little store in Harajuku. And yeah, it's super cute and she's best girl. We all know she should have won. So bada bing, bada boom. And I'm okay, I went to Melon Books and I thought there was an exclusive version of Chainsaw Man while I was there. and. I took it to the till because it had like a special little preview book and stuff like that and it had different artwork and stuff. So I took that to the till and it turns out, no, that was just an install one so you don't have to open up a copy and have a flick through if you just want to figure out what it's about. They have like a, a sample chapter for you to read. So I just ended up getting the normal version of Chainsaw Man, but Chainsaw Man Volume 1 to go on the Tetsuki Fujimoto shelf. I'm not complaining about that. It's a nice little, nice little statement item piece to go in the Chainsaw Man collection. Huge Chainsaw Man fan, as you know. Speaking of Chainsaw Man, I have no idea what this is. I think it's like side stories or another art book or something. So I don't actually know what this is at the moment until I open it. It's Jump J Books. Maybe this is like light novels in the world of Chainsaw Man, maybe? Okay, and then I've got a fatty stack here of stuff that I got from Singapore. I Like that I said, that huge bookstore that I found. I managed to pick up some bits, so I managed to get in Japanese the latest copy of One Piece. This was the new volume that came out while I was in Japan, so there we go. Got an advertisement for One Piece Red movie in there. I believe this is 105. Then I was super amazed to see, because I've never seen this in the flesh, because it seems to have been out of stock since I started collecting manga. We got Slam Dunk, volumes 1, 2, and 3. I was just going to pick up volume 1, but I was like... 
I wanted to pick this up anyway, may as well get the first three volumes, rule of three, you know how we do, but I feel like I'm going to love it anyway, so I'm going to pick it all up in its entirety. But there we have, Slamdunk, volume one, two, and three, brand new, hot off the press, not even in the UK yet. Also, in that store, they had so much stuff that hasn't made it over to the UK yet, like, they had the JoJo's art book, is it? 6215 or something like that it's called 6251 something like that um that is getting finally an english print in and they had that in there but it hasn't made it over to the west yet from well it's not made it over to the uk yet they had that there in english they had um i talked about it in an earlier video some sort of jojo's art book beautiful thing uh, they had that but that is not translated into english but i've never seen it in person before it comes in a huge big beautiful box and everything like that that is a statement piece it's super spenny they just had more stuff there than i could think about and they also had english a full lot of manga translated into chinese and then i finally found the japanese section which is where i picked up some other bits like this sailor moon 25th anniversary copy beautiful this is a gift for someone so i'm not going to show it off too much they can show it off i i got another volume of one piece this is for db otaku he said he specifically loved this volume i cannot imagine why he loves this volume huh and then i got this trafalgar law side story hells yeah uh, i believe this might be a novel again yes this is a novel this is like the aces story light novels but a prequel story for trafalgar law so this was like fresh off the presses uh, because they're advertising 104 so this is very new and um, i decided to pick this up because i thought that was a really really cool collection piece that we're probably not going to get in the uk for probably give it another three years before we end up getting this i went there looking for just cool collection pieces and i managed to come out with some amazing stuff for now this is everything that i'm going to show you um i don't need to show you all the tricky bits but this was all the cool stuff this was all the manga that i got and i i mean like i said some of this is gifts for people but look at the stack look at the stack and this was all like a fraction of what we pay in the english i'm super happy with this let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and i showed you enough of the tricky stuff check out shorts for other stuff if you miss some content if you want to see some of the more cultural stuff that i got but i know for a fact you guys are just here for the nerd stuff the manga the trinkets the pokemon but that's what we're here for and i will see you guys in another video please leave a like if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We want to try and hit. My next goal is 300 subscribers. We're at 251, I think, as of recording this. So if we can hit 300 before my birthday in August, gives us just over two months to try and hit that. 50 subscribers in two months. Hopefully we can hit that. Hopefully I can keep making good content for you guys. And maybe 500 by the end of the year, maybe? Um, if you guys actually like any of the stuff that I'm putting out. Let me know what videos you want to see next. I've got a load of collaborations coming up soon. Check out DBA Otaku's channel because a collaboration will have gone live by now, I believe, on there that we did on there. He did a fun little challenge based on my personal manga collection and manga journey. So, yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in another video. <gasps> Peace out! Uh, I've got so much shit to clean up now.